today we're talking about stability and change. Stability doesn't necessarily mean no change. It means that there aren't any unexpected changes. It's kind of predictable. The Earth's rotation is stable and it creates a predictable pattern of day and night. Like this ball, the Earth is not static, meaning it's not still, it's rotating. The pattern of the sun rising and setting is constant. It's a stable cycle. We expect those changes to happen, just like we expect ice to melt when heat is applied, or freeze when temperatures drop. The water molecules haven't changed, they remain stable. So it's still water, but just in a different state of matter. Now change can also mean creating something new. Like when I mix this vinegar and baking soda, they cause a chemical change. The molecules in baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, react with molecules in vinegar, a weak acetic acid, which causes a change. Baking cookies is also a chemical change. When enough heat is applied to the mixture, the dough transforms into a cookie, a delicious change. Chemical changes can't be reversed, so you can't separate baking soda and vinegar once they mix just like you can't unbake a cookie. In nature, a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. This caterpillar will go through many changes before it becomes a butterfly. But all of those changes are predictable. Our body is a system that maintains a stable temperature of around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But when we get sick, our body temperature changes. It increases as white blood cells which are a key player in our immune system, fight off a virus, bacteria, or other invaders. Once those white blood cells have done their job, our body temperature returns to a stable 98.6. Understanding stability and change helps us understand and identify patterns so we can start asking questions. Those questions can help us identify a cause as to why something changes or remains stable and recognizing changes in systems can improve our ability to adapt to those changes. At the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, stability and change are pretty important. After all, stability is their number one job, keeping the lights on and the water running. So that means paying close attention to all of the feedback loops that monitor how well water and electric systems are functioning. But as we all know, sometimes stuff happens. And when those unexpected changes occur, that means springing into action to restore stability. Whether it's a power outage or a broken water main, the people of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power are the frontline workers that step up to the challenge. And I'm glad they do. So if you want to become a Water and Power first responder, find out more about joining the squad at ladwp.com forward slash careers.